All right, we are back on Morning Line. Thanks for joining us live on the big show today. We're talking about the Wilson County Fair. We have some folks who have called in. We're going to talk a bit about the fair, but I, I, before we get to that, we want to uh, you know, get on the phone with a guest who will stay with us through most of the show. We were hoping to get him on Zoom, but we had some technical problems. But the beauty of that is we always have a phone to fall back on. And joining us now is, uh, you know, he's one of the hot shots at the fair. He also happens to be president of the Wilson Bank and Trust there, which is one of the banks I bank at, Randall Clemens, good morning to you. Good morning. I was under the impression that I'd be spending time this morning with my good friend and basketball playing partner, John Foster. Oh, my goodness. Well, we should have had him here. I mean, come on. Now, technically speaking, John's at the bank as well, and I saw him. I don't know. Maybe you were with him. I saw him in the parade the first day of the fair. Yes. Uh, well, I wasn't in the parade. I actually am still on the board at the bank, but I actually retired in 2019. So John ah, is now the president yes. of the bank. And John I, the CEO. I figured as much. Well, and he's great. And Wilson Bank and Trust does so much for the community. So Randall, now that you're retired, you spend time, a lot of your time working with the fair. That you got that right. Uh, well, I'll tell you that, you know, my wife and I love the fair. We've been going for years and it's interesting. Let me get from you your take. Uh, I remember another good friend of mine involved with the fair who I know you know well is Lyndon Lefevre. And I remember oh, talking yeah. to him last year when the discussion was about, you know, the state coming to you and wanting to integrate with the Wilson County Fair. And I guess last year was the first year of it and this year. And I think we all were open to the idea of folks like me, you know, thinking, well, okay, but our big concern was, you know, who's still really going to be in charge? And we don't want the fair from the state side coming in and messing up a good thing. How do you feel that's worked out? This has worked out tremendous. It's a great partnership. We have retained the leadership and the control of the fair, uh, but the state has been an important partner to us. Uh, our goal was to involve every county in the state all 95 counties, and we've been able to do that this year with Travel Tennessee, with all of our exhibits. We had uh, 76 entries from different counties in our hay contest. Uh, our Champion of Champions contest has been wonderful. We are so excited about the future, about the direction that we're going in while retaining the Wilson County Fair and all the things you've loved through the years. We're just able to add so many more new things as well. So. We are very pleased of where we are. And yeah, I think I, our numbers. I know. The numbers reflect it. Yeah. Uh, set, <laughs> setting attendance records this year, right? We've set attendance records every day. Huh. We now went over 418,000 wow. people last night and we're up 168,000. Wow. Now, part of that, I think, is certainly, you know, the fair continues to grow, but the weather's been nice, hasn't it? It's been the best weather we've ever had. <laughs> yes. So yes, sir, that's definitely a major factor. <laughs> and the other thing I noticed getting back there, and I don't spend a lot of time out at the fairgrounds except during the, uh, the week of the fair, but um, with the state, I know part of the agreement would be the state would be helpful in improving or working on access and traffic, which I find, considering the crowds, I think everyone's done a pretty good job, and the police and everyone else, and parking's been terrific. Also, the influx of money. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it, this is by all means a financially successful fair, but I was amazed at how many new structures have been built on the uh, fairgrounds. Well, we did not have space to handle the state fair part of it without new buildings. And so we have built a new 4-H FFA building. Mm -hmm. We've built a new perishable item building that ha houses only state fair entries. We have built a new event center and under construction is the Made in Tennessee building, which is the largest building that will house only state fair <coughs> excuse me, exhibits starting next year. It will have the Travel Tennessee in it and it will have all the competitive exhibits from the state fair in it. So it is a wonderful new facility that will greatly enhance the state fair and the Wilson County Fair as we move forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think it's fantastic walking around and seeing. You know what I do like now, too, is you guys have built some of these uh, structures, especially on those years when it's been really hot or you've had severe weather. It's always nice to walk into the Expo Center after maybe you've been out on the midway and cool off. Do you know what I mean? 
It is a wonderful facility. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you've got we've the... been able to utilize it in a lot of different ways this year since we were lack of space for the State Fair and, and be able to do even greater things with it next year as we move the State Fair parked into the new building. <laughs> You know, we've got a lot of the features, things that are still going on. Certainly the fair continues through Saturday, correct? It does, and we have our three biggest days left to occur. And we have great entertainment. We have 10 stages of musical entertainment with different entertainment each night. Of course, we have two nights of demolition derby, which is our biggest event that, that we do. We have all types of competitive uh, events. We have... Uh, some new things that's only going to be occurring on these three days, uh, such as we have a new dog show that just arrived yesterday that is going to be up by the uh, petting zoo area. And it, it is a great new addition that's just for this weekend. Well, what, what is the dog show? Do you know more details on that? I'm just curious because I love coming out and seeing those. Is it a, a demonstration or what do you know? No, it's uh, frisbees. Oh, the dogs that'll be awesome. Interactive thing. And yeah. it's set up the big ring with seats around it. And uh, it's going to really, first time we've ever had this. So oh. uh, we're really excited about it. The Frisbee catching dogs will be fantastic. I, I think that's great. Of course, Monster Truck. You had a few new uh, rides on the Midway, right? Uh, there's some, this, this wave swinger. One of our reporters actually came out and did a live shot earlier uh, last week, I think. And he actually rode on it while he was doing it. Those giant swings, you know what I'm talking about? I have read myself, and it's a wonderful ride. It's just come in from Italy, and it is a beautiful ride and been one of our most popular uh, rides that we've had this year. Yeah, how We have a lot of new rides. We have almost 70 rides here, and so it's it's a great experience if you like to ride. Sure. What's interesting, I want, you know, with you, I get a little, you know, peek behind the uh, the curtain and how this works out. When it comes to rides and things like this, how do you arrange it? You guys contract with a, a, a certain company that is responsible for bringing in the crew and all of the rides, or how do you know what rides are coming, or are you able to pick and decide which ones you like or don't like? We actually contracted some five years ago with Rod Hopper Shows, which is one of the oldest uh, amusement companies in America. And they play only state fair and national fairs. And we found them at the Georgia National Fair in Perry, Georgia. And uh, so we already had a state fair carnival when we took this on. And they are constantly buying new rides and they keep us a year in advance. We already know, you know that they're working on several other new rides for 2023. But we are so pleased with them. They've taken our fair to another level as well in the great rides they have and the great family operation they have uh, as well. Yeah. Um, with never you're talking about this many people, and I was paying close attention to this when we showed up uh, the first day, is the level of security. And I, it seems to me that you guys have done a good job having the security there, not to the point where it's overwhelming, but I mean, it, you feel safe at the facility. There are so many people, but in this day and age, I know, you know you're more concerned with that than ever before. Uh, talk a bit about the steps you've taken about security and uh, with regard to, among other things, no guns allowed. Well, we have installed an extensive camera system we are so well supported by the Wilson County Sheriff's Office and the Lebanon Police Department with a uh, huge amount of law enforcement here. Uh, we did install the metal detectors this year, which have right. been a great success. They're very easy to walk through, but it has made us so much more secure. And so we are extremely pleased of the security system that we have throughout our grounds. Our system, our, it is locked down. We've got uh, where you cannot get automobiles in here during the times we're open. And so we have taken our security to another level. And we had to because of the amount of uh, attendance we have. Yeah, I mean, that much. I, I was concerned at first. I remember asking one of the uh, women as I made my way through one of the metal detectors, I'm thinking, you know, we got there early before the lines were big, and she had the wand, and if it beeps, I was thinking, gosh, how are you going to manage you know, there are going to be people whose, you know, belt buckles or shoes beep or something like that. And I was concerned that it would cause a big backlog. But there hasn't been an issue with that, has there? I mean, folks are getting there in fairly been, quickly. There, it, it has not slowed down the entrance to the fair at all. It's worked extremely well. We are very pleased with the system that we purchased. 
Um, again, all bags are, you know, expected to be clear so you can see into them if you want to carry something in. Um, as well, far as you, just yeah. a recommendation, it yeah. is not required. That makes it easier. And uh, as far as you know, there have been no problems then up to this point? No, there haven't. It's been a very smooth operated fair this year, and we are very thankful for that. Great. Listen, Randall, we're going to you take... Know, I, yeah. I, I would say this to people yeah. that's coming out, and it's important people know this, that we have 1,800 volunteers that give over 100,000 hours each year to put this fair on. So as you come here, you're seeing one of the greatest examples of our volunteer state that you can see in the volunteers that we have and they are unbelievable and as people visit with us sometimes there might be a little problem there whatever but just remember these people are giving of their time to make this happen absolutely listen randall we're going to take a break and when we come back we're going to cover a few more things with you to try to let folks know what they can appreciate for the rest of the week and the like if you'll stay with us and then those other callers on hold we're going to get to you in the final segment so stick around we'll be right back as we're talking the wilson county tennessee state fair right after this hang with us randall